Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of uh, Modern Warfare 3 Custom Classes, which are best, I'm not sure I'm going to name it yet. It should be the title, whatever the title is, is what it's going to be called. Uh, today, I'm going to show you my first custom class, which is what you see, and I'll explain why I use each of them. And I'll uh, show you gameplay of me using that on Kill Confirmed on Dome. But alright, um, for M4A1 as my primary, it's an all-around good gun. Its damage, as you see, is good in mid to... It drops a tiny bit in mid-range. But I think that stat, because, as we also know, COD stats lie, is for uh, long-range bullet damage. I use... I always either use focus or kick, and here's why. Focus, that's reduced recoil when firing, so obviously you're going to be more accurate when uh, aiming at any range, most specifically long range. Focus, that I mainly use on ACR, mainly because it doesn't have any recoil at all to begin with. And that wins me a lot of gunfights right there. Because if you get hit when you don't have focus on, your gun's going to go jerked up and your, a lot of your bullets that would otherwise have killed the guy are going to miss and he'll probably kill you. So I went with kick, um, silencer, grenade launcher, it's under explosives in Modern Warfare 3 and the transition in Modern Warfare 2 have become a lot more underpowered. ACOG on M4, too much kick really, even with kick to use it. Heartbeat sensor, that's fine, maybe for search or something, but not something as tactic as kill confirmed. Holographic sight, that and red dot. Those are fine if you don't like silencers, but for me, silence M4 is the way to go, just as a personal preference. But holographic or red dot, I'd say red dot over holographic, but also personal preference. Uh, shotgun, no. Hybrid sight, that's what I rocked on my M4 for a long time, actually. It was pretty good. It's like a combination of, uh, if you don't know, ACOG and Red Dot, and you can switch between the two. Uh, wait. Extended mags, not r not really necessary. And thermal wall, no. And camo, it really doesn't matter. Secondary, this gun creates a lot of controversy. FMG9... Um, these things alone are rape, but when you slap on a Kimbo and Steady Aim Pro, J Jesus Christ, as you're going to see. Don't use anything else, use a Kimbo, alright? Um, other, otherwise, I'd probably use Stinger to shoot down air support and get points. Um, Bouncing Betty, just because I like it more than Claymore in this game, because it, um, senses people from 360 degrees, all the Claymore only sees it in one direction. However, I'm pretty sure it does less damage, but the majority of the time, unless they have Blast Shield, it's gonna, it's gonna kill them. Uh, tactical EMP Grenade. Here's why I'd use it over Concussion. When you're rocking higher kill streaks, um, more than likely, at one point, you're gonna get pissed and come across a sentry gun an assault drone or a recon drone throw your EMP grenade at it and that'll save you from dying and if you're pretty good concussion and whatnot you're probably really going to use it anyway slide of hands because FMG9's are going to be running out of ammo on those quick as you're going to see um, scavenger that's also a good option because then you basically have infinite FMG9 ammo and in turn, infinite kills, but in this game, I use sleight of hand. Um, assassin, for obvious reasons. I'm not sure. Yeah, I use assassin on that match. Um, for my kill streaks, I was using attack helicopter, AC-130, Osprey, but I switched it to predator, attack, and AC, just because my, my awesome performance has dropped off 
so I needed to set him low, and I still haven't earned an AC in the past, like, five matches I've played. And Death Streak Juiced, and if you're doing good, you're not going to have that appear. But beyond that, let's get to the gameplay. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, I am bringing forward a Kill Confirmed on Dome gameplay. I went 36 and 3. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm using that class I just got through explaining, and sorry, I'm kind of AFK here. I don't remember what I was doing. But, um, here's my starting group. I always start down Bouncing Betty. There's always someone who walks through that doorway, and it's easy to, uh, easy to take him out with dual wheel FMG9. This is the main class I use for pretty much every game. And by the way, if, if you notice that, do you see those hit markers and like how off the bullets were? That's when you're watching commentators and you see that. You, you don't see it when they're playing live matches, but you go back in theater and you see bullshit like that. That either tells you you have really bad connection or you have really good connection. And my, in my case it's good. Because if it's bad connection, then we have the BS we call lag compensation. And I presume that's what it is. But, uh, this was the first match I had gotten my Osprey Gunner. Well, no, I like. This is the second match that I earned a Osprey Gunner in. And, um... And, because in the first match... I was saying kill confirmed on resistance. I was really stinking excited because I got my chopper. That got me my AC-130. That got me my Osprey. Then I look at the score, pull out the computer, and bam, match is over. I raged so hard because it didn't count towards like a challenge for Osprey or whatever. But by these trucks, which is where I'm at right now, Herpeter, that's where I usually stay at. And on Dome, it's hard to do this, but if you want to be kind of a jerk, once you get your 7 kill streak and get Chopper, then uh, I'll typically just stay in one spot, sort of like I am now, and let the Chopper go to work. Because in Dome, it's really, it's really effective because how small the map is and, you know, the weird ass spawn system. But, um, gotta get an AC-130. And so he destroyed it, and then at this point, me and my friend are both going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, because he thought I was going to die. Now, no, it's not. I saw two guys there. I was saw two go in there, and if you look on the minimap, there's a guy behind me. I played it quite strategically. Killed the one guy, got an AC, knew there were guys in front of me that could kill me, and this is a good hiding spot. Killed that guy. Right over here, I sit down and just go to work. So let me just speed that up a little bit, because, you know, it looks funny. People like funny things that look cool and sped up. I just want to play that one song. I forget the name of it, but it goes... And it ended. Uh, I got my Osprey. Set down the care packages. Oh, and the match right after this, um, it wasn't my greatest match, so I'm not going to upload it, but I got a, another Osprey, so that was two in a row. You might have noticed earlier, there was a guy who was standing right next to me, but didn't see me. I w would have died and ended my streak if I didn't have Assassin Pro on, so thank you, Assassin. Because that uh, Assassin Pro blocks your name from showing up when you're aimed at, as most people should know. But anyway, DLC for Modern Warfare 3, um, in about, let's see, November, December, January, about two months after the game comes out, we finally get some DLC info. I'm a little bit disappointed, because it's just two maps, and they are called Piazza and Liberation. Um, excuse me if I'm wrong, 
I'm pretty much positive if I'm right, because it's been a little while since I watched the trailer. Piazza, it looks a hell of a lot like uh, Favela from Modern Warfare 2. I'm pretty sure it is Favela, just reskinned. Not literally, but that's what it looks like. Um, people are saying it's going to be a lot different because it has a lot of vertical gameplay. Like, you'll be at the bottom of stairs and there'll be a guy like 10 feet above you at the top, and yeah. Um, and Liberation, you're in New York, and you're in a park. I'm not sure if it's uh, Central Park or or what park it is, but I'm just in a park. It has a statue, and yeah. But, um... Where is it going with this? Oh, yeah. The map packs will come first to the Xbox 360. Uh, I'm not sure if the 360 people will get it at the same time as the 360 people have Elite. But the people who have Elite on the 360 will get the content first. And that will be on January 24th. And then if it doesn't come out at the same time as Live gets it, then live, then PS3, because we kind of suck. Although that'll give us time to watch some walkthroughs and shit and know the maps before you ever even play them. But, um, we haven't gotten a cost for them yet, but, you know, Infinity Ward being the BS they are. Although I still love them more than Treyarch. It'll probably cost $15 for two maps. And beyond that, the other info we got from that trailer is that COD Elite members are going to get additional things to download each month. But, um, yeah, there was my 36 and 3, yeah, 36 and 3 gameplay. Didn't get to final kill, sadly, and we lost. Also, sadly, by 5. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and come back next time.